Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification and I'm just gonna keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews, that 40-ish and $100 range and most of these are a lot less than that and a good chunk of these you can pick up at your local rack stores. Uh, the one I'm talking about today, you see at the rack store all the time and it's a 19, I think it's 1996 release. It's a green aromatic. This thing is borderline legendary. It was extremely popular when it came out and I'm talking about Liz Claiborne's Curve. They're like a four ounce bottle or something like that. If you know Curve at all, you know that this is uh, <laughs> not the original. This is from Curve Crush, but they all have this same kind of a thing um, and the juice is clear because <laughs> uh, yeah it's the bottle or the sticker on the bottle is green but anyhow the atomizer is not bad not bad at all it doesn't squirt far but it squirts wide and a decent amount so this thing has a million notes in it, so I'm just gonna go over a few of them, let you know what I think about this thing overall, what makes Curve Curve, and if it's even still relevant today in 2023. In the top, there's bergamot, or no, excuse me, that's the mid. In the top, there's lemon, pineapple, juniper berries. Uh, there's a good amount of that pineapple and a good amount of that juicy lemon and a soft amount of the juniper berries. Gives it a real unique opening. The mid has um, bergamot and sage, and in the base there's sandalwood, there's mahogany, there's a lot of woods in the base of this thing. Uh, there's also cactus in the mid. So what you get ultimately out of this is a citrusy, woody, spicy. Now, I just did Liz Claiborne's Mambo, and people compare it to this, and that's basically what it is, a citrusy, woody, spicy, but the difference between that one and this one is it leans more on the citruses, uh, the juicy citruses, not so much the, the sharp, um, bitter citruses. The, the pineapple in this is not like an Aventus-type pineapple, it's more of a juicy, and the lemon is nice and juicy. We've got a, a small amount of that tartness, but it's mostly like juicy, and it stays like that throughout most of the life of this thing. The opening doesn't just fizzle out or anything like that. It stays true from the opening to the dry down pretty good. Of course, the woods start to pop out a little bit more once you get a few hours into this fragrance. Uh, speaking of a few hours, the performance on this is right about average. Uh, I don't know if it's any worse than when it first came out. I don't ever really remember this being a powerhouse or performing crazy strong or nothing like that, but as it is today, it's like four and a half or five hours. Nothing crazy, but it works. It's not bad at all. Today, is this thing still relevant? I would have to say yes it is, especially for the price point that you're getting at this. You find this thing in the rack store all day long for like 16 to $20, I mean 24 at the most or something like that, and it's a four ounce bottle. and Let's face it, there's a lot of people that still look at this thing. I go to the rack stores all the time, obviously, and look for colognes and people, you know, this is on the shelf and they point at it and they're like going to get this thing. It's still just super popular because it's still relevant today. It's still inoffensive. It's office friendly. It's a springtime, summer, casual wear. Um, I mean, you could wear it however you want to, but basically that's the categories that this fits best in. Um, Overall rating, I can give this a six because I personally think it's a little bit better than an average smelling fragrance. The performance isn't nothing mind blowing. If anything, it's on the weaker side of average so I can't bump the rating scale up any more than a six because a six is a solid rating. And um, yeah, I haven't been wearing it that much. You can tell that I have spent some time with this thing as I have in the past, but I do like it still today still relevant today um, and I think it can be enjoyed by the youth just as well as more mature so that's my final thoughts on Liz Claiborne's original curve with that I'm out y'all be blessed take care of yourself always and until next time